This is episode 126 of the Beyond the Food Show. And today we're going to solve the overeating problem in one marketing tagline. Feel, don't fight. You get it? If so or not, let's do this. My name is Stephanie Dodier, clinical nutritionist. I reversed my diagnosis of anxiety, depression, adrenal fatigue, and obesity by going beyond the food. I can tell you one thing, that willpower, discipline, and deprivation aren't the permanent solution to transforming your relationship to food. So how do you leave overeating, emotional eating, food craving, and binging behind you so you have the food freedom to achieve all of your goal and be happy now? As a top 25 alternative health podcast in the world, this is the Beyond the Food Show. Hey ladies, Stephanie Dozier here, and today we're going to talk about one piece of wisdom that came upon me right from the universe during one of my coaching call with the Beyond the Food Academy student last week. And let me preface this in saying what you're going to hear on this podcast will likely seem too simple, like too easy. Know that that reaction, that feeling that it's too easy and too simple for you is normal, is what we call in the academy a self-sabotage behavior from your subconscious mind. And the student in the academy are very aware of that, but I want you to be aware of it before we get into the nitty gritty of this topic, because it's likely what's coming up for you. Like if I tell you feel, don't fight, is the solution to overeating, you're like, no, 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 no. It has to be more complicated than this because my problem is bigger than this. Well, it's not. Feeling is the key element behind your solution. So that's what we're going to talk about today. It's not too easy because I'm going to need you to actually practice it. So where did that come from me? It's literally what we call a ha-ha moment, again, within the Academy student. Today, I'm recording this on Tuesday, March 27th. And yes, the sound may be different because I'm in Airbnb in Portugal, but I'm going to teach lesson four tonight. So we're at the point where we've learned the self-sabotaging behavior that each one of us has, which, by the way, are very unique to each one of you. It's up to you to discover your own, but that deep awareness, that feeling was the solution behind all of it. And we needed to stop fighting comes from that lesson within the academy where we uncover our own self-sabotaging behavior. And when we feel emotions, we actually don't need food to cover up the emotion we're trying to avoid, like anxiety or the stress of life or their, your eye and the students' unhappiness with their body. And the magic thing is when we put that into practice, and we'll get to how to do that, it actually from the student's perspective, were more effective than years and years of psychotherapy. Crazy, right? The simple permission to feel our emotion is the solution that many women have been expecting for 20, 30, 35 years of life experience and relationship with food. So the number one question is feel, don't fight, Why is it such a powerful transformation? Why is the work that we're doing in the academy to learn to feel is such a powerful information? The permission to feel and not trying to create strategy to avoid the feeling, but actually feeling the feeling, the emotion, the pain, the anger, the jealousy, the resentment And feeling it instead of fighting it is what create that spark of transformation. 
Because when we fight our feelings, we fight our emotion, we are going against one of the universal law that is acceptance, that is being in the moment for what is. When we fight, we refuse what is. We are not accepting the current situation. When we fight our emotion, our feelings with food behavior or with any other addiction, we have this non-acceptance of the current situation. We are in denial of what is because our emotion comes from what is currently going on in our life. And fighting our emotion is actually a form of control on our emotion because we believe that what we feel is not okay, it's not good, it's dangerous in some way, so we resist it by fighting it. If you refer back to show 116, we discuss that. What we resist persists. And again, that's just another universal law that applied to everything in life. Whatever we resist will persist, right? Whatever we don't feel will persist as well. Because we must be in the moment. We must accept what is going on right now. We must flow with life. And flowing with life includes flowing with our emotion and our feeling. And when we overeat, the vast, 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 vast majority of the time, because I don't want to say 100% because 100% means perfection, and we can't have perfection in this world, but the vast majority of the time when we overeat, it's in response to an emotional cue, an emotion, a feelings that in our mind, we have label as dangerous, negative, not good. So we binge because we don't know how to cope with certain emotion. We overeat because we don't want to feel a certain way. We crave when we worry about certain situation, people, event that we know will drive in us an emotion that we don't want to feel, we don't like, and we don't know what to do with. This program response to our emotion is deeply buried in our mind, in what we know today as our subconscious mind, and to a certain extent, our nervous system, because our mind, our brain is part of our nervous system. So it's like deeply buried in there. It's been years in the making. It's likely from the time we were very little, we've programmed our mind that feeling X, Y, Z is not good and dangerous, and we most must find a way of avoiding it. And as we know, quick fix don't work. We've all tried them, the dieting, the calorie counting, the restriction, all of it backfires on us. And that's likely why you're listening to this podcast, because you've tried it all and nothing works. And why it doesn't work is because that deep programming, that I don't want to feel a certain way because it's dangerous, hasn't been changed. That perception of fear in face of certain emotion cues or event of people hasn't been addressed. The response from our nervous system, our subconscious mind to those events hasn't been changed. And that's why the quick fix don't work because they don't address that deep programming. So the solution to overeating is to give up the fight and feel. Give up the fight and let yourself feel the emotion, feel the feeling. I know it's easy to say, For some of us, there is deep layer as to why we don't want to feel. But bottom line is non-acceptance of what is, the need to control everything in life, our lack of self-acceptance, non-body acceptance, trauma, abuse, is what is fueling this fire. Somewhere along the line, you have accepted the fact in your subconscious mind, in your nervous system, in your body, that feeling those emotions needed to be avoided at all costs. And we've connected food in our case, in this community, as the tool to numb, avoid, put a bandaid on our emotions. I want you to know that you aren't alone. All the people listening to the podcast are all challenged with the same thing. All my students in the academy are all challenged with the same thing. It's my story. It's your story. 
If it feels good for you to get this information right now, to listen to the podcast and you're like, yay, it's me. You have a gut feeling that this is your solution and you need to know more. Maybe you have butterfly cramps in your gut. You need to take action today. So I'm going to, after the sponsor here, give you a little step-by-step if you want or things you need to do, but I want you to go also and put yourself on the waiting list for the next round of the Academy because you need to find that deep solution. You need to do the work to get to those deep layer. So you can access that waiting list through two ways. You can go directly on my website, stephaniedoze.com slash Academy, or you can go to the show notes. So if you're listening from an iPod or an Android, the uh, podcast software app, you can just click the show notes and go to the show note links and the Academy link will be there as well. We're going to take a quick break from our chat to give a shout out to our show sponsor, Health IQ. And I am so excited to be partnering with them and bringing you forward an innovative insurance company for the American listener. Health IQ helps health conscious people like yogis, runners, cyclists, weightlifters to get lower rate on their life insurance. Just like you save money on your car insurance for being a good driver, Health IQ saves you money on life insurance for living a health conscious lifestyle. Isn't it time that we get rewarded for our good health choices? Now, how do you get started? Very simply by qualifying through the Health IQ quizzes. And also, listen to this, if you submit actual training data through the various apps available, you can save additional dollars. To get started now, simply go to stephaniedodzier.com forward slash health IQ and take the test to see if you qualify. And when you get to speak to an agent, mention the code beyond the food to support the show. So get started now on saving money on your life insurance. Now a shout out to our other show sponsor, Muse. And I'm very grateful to team up with Muse to bring you the first tool in the world to help you learn to meditate at home. Muse is a wearable brain sensing headband that measure our brain wave and sends the feedback to an app on our personal device. I love my Muse because it transform my meditation practice. I wear it daily for my 10 minute session in the morning and it coaches me through my practice by giving me real time feedback on what's happening in my brain and helping me refocus during my meditation. I love this partnership with Muse because it brings the tool to the first timer and it helps expand the practice of the more advanced meditator. So it's time for you to get your Muse on and learn to calm your mind through meditation. And here's the thing, as a listener of the Going to Beyond the Food show, you get 15% off of the purchase of your Muse. To take advantage of this offer, simply go to stephaniedodzier.com forward slash muse. And again, the URL is stephaniedodzier.com forward slash muse and register through this URL to get 15% off. So join me in my 10 minutes meditation practice every morning and get our muse on and go beyond the food together. So you aren't alone. There's many of us here. There's nothing wrong with you and you're not broken. You listen to me? You are not broken. It's all of us here. The solution is in learning to feel and be okay with feeling. The solution is in learning to feel and to be okay with the feelings. Repeat after me. The solution is in the learning to feel my emotion and my feelings and be okay with the feeling and the emotion. Not fear any more emotion or feelings. But first, you need to feel. And the fear will go away as you sit with those emotions and realize that nothing catastrophic will happen by you feeling those feelings. I know this can sound confusing, but there's a first step to everything. 
obviously learning to feel is an art because it's in the body to feel our emotion and our feelings. We need to connect with our body. Most of us live in the head, what I call the left brain, right? Everything up here, and we have a hard time connecting with our body. And that is the first step to feel and not fight is to learn to feel. So there is a solution for you. It's called the Crave Cure Formula. So you can go and download it. It is absolutely free because it's a piece of basic information that I believe all the women in the world should have. But unfortunately, we are not taught this information in school. So I created a guide called the Crave Cure Guide. You can get it on my website. You can get it in the show note of the podcast. You can go to stephaniedoze.com slash guide. And inside of that guide, there's going to be the Crave Cure formula. And it's an exercise to get acquainted with your body. It's an exercise to learn to recognize the sensation, the cues, the feelings, and experience the feelings and see how it feels to sit with the emotion when we crave, when we binge, when we overeat. Experience the feeling because it's creating that binge and that craving. Get a feeling for the feeling. I know it sounds redundant, but it is what it is. So the Crave Cure formula is a four-step process. So I'm going to let you go and download that. It's totally free. And then I want you to actually experience it. And I want you to show your mind that there's nothing to fear or to want to avoid because there's nothing scary about this emotion or those feelings. And I want you to practice it. And that's the work to be done. The work to be done is actually to practice the Crave Cure formula. Because when we don't feel our emotion, we fight them. I know it's black and white, but it is what it is. It's either we don't feel them or we feel them. And when we feel them, what we do realize is that the emotion go away when we allow them to be. Let me repeat that. The emotion go away, they reside, they retreat, they go away when we allow them to be. So the emotion that drive the desire to overeat, that drive the binge, that drive the craving, if we don't fight it, feel it, it will stop. Try it. Try the Crave Cure formula and you will see. I know it seems too easy and too simple, but for most people who say it's too easy and too simple and they need something more complicated, when I put them in front of the Crave Cure formula and I get them to do it for like two, three minutes, they can't. When I force them and I see that all the time in private coaching, like one-on-one coaching, The women that come to me have exhausted all the solution, but when I force them to do the Crave Cure formula every morning and every night, they come back after the first two weeks and they say, I struggle. I can't do it. It was too difficult. I could do it for like 30 seconds. The solution is in there. So trust me, go and try it. If you think it's too easy, give it a try. And I want you to email me. Send me an email at info at stephaniedozier.com and tell me how your experience of practicing the Crave Cure formula was, how it was the experience of feeling your emotion and not fighting them. Tell me how it feels to feel and not fight. So there you have it. I hope you now understand feel, don't fight expression more profoundly and how it can be your solution to stop overeating and stop putting a band-aid to the behavior of overeating. So if this episode impacted you, it's likely impacting other women's lives. So I want you to share it with somebody in your life and other women who need to have this information. And if it did help you, leave me a review right there from your listening device because it's like fuel for me. And it helps me rank the podcast so other women can find it. So I can't wait to read your review. 
Thank you very much. And I'm grateful that you were here with me. I love you. And I look forward to hang out with you on the next episode. Did you know that nine out of 10 women are struggling with their relationship to food? Overeating, emotional eating, binging and craving are real. Clearly the solution we have been taught aren't working. I believe to have food freedom, it means that we must learn to have a relationship with our hunger so we can finally be at peace with food and eat normally without guilt or shame, which is why I wrote the Crave Cure Guide. I want to show you how to have a completely different relationship with food so that you can be in control of what you eat, achieve your goal, and be the powerful woman you were meant to be. The best part is this book and the step-by-step process is absolutely free. To receive your free copy, simply go to stephaniedodzier.com forward slash guide and we can get started right now.